Back with another video. Uh, back with another video of uh, NBA, NBA Young Boy. He humiliated some rivals. We about to go see what's going on with this one. Nice little reaction. Let's go. In August 2020, Young Boy had gone on Instagram to let fans know he was dropping his top album on September 11th. And Fredo Bang that. later announced that he would drop a project on the same day. And after Fredo found out him and Young Boy were releasing on the same day, he made an IG post saying, Cause <laughs> me and my son dropping together, which really pissed you. Oh. That's gonna be a Young Boy, uh. <clears throat> he was bumping heads a lot him and Fredo. Fredo, when he made that something face, that that was a hard ass album. Uh same day, he made an IG me post saying me and my son dropping together, which really pissed young boy off and right. made him take things too far. Because after he saw the post, he went on to diss Fredo's dead partners and his mama. Damn. Hey, you a bum bitch. Go big. I'll drill your brothers up with your skip. You a Stop running from me. I ain't no competition with you. Stop writing me. You are. Oh. You don't kill her. You don't be like me. You write me all day. You are. Damn, I can double back. I can any. Try to double back and your mama. You gonna try to your mama. You will. You a pimp. And after Fredo saw that clip, he posted a video saying how Young Boy didn't have to take it that far, since he was just trying to say he's going to sell more albums than Young Boy. Angry dog. He angry. On my dead partners. Like I'm on this I'm about fat boy and that extra extra large coffin he got. You know what I mean? But you know, look, I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the video on uh, 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 Professor X I, I push his half dead brown. I don't I'm not on the on my dad. I said I would sell more albums there. You drop it every time I drop. But we all know young boy came out on top in this situation since his album did way better than the tape that Fredo dropped on that day. But you gotta understand that um that was 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 that but you gotta understand that um, Young Boy had uh, a label behind so come on now. He was pretty much trolling. The situation was light compared to what happened with this next rapper. Because coming up, Young Boy was close friends with all of the TBG members, especially Lil Herc. And right. he was even spotted in Fred O'Bang's first ever music video. But it wouldn't take too long until things went left. Since TBG members weren't showing Young Boy the respect that he deserved, they weren't pushing any of his music. He got no upfront money, and they didn't even give Young Boy a TBG chain while. Damn! Listen to that. All the other members had. Look. Oh, come on now. No upfront money, and they didn't even give Young Boy a TBG chain while all the other members had one. So this is. <coughs> Underdog Boy. He ain't a bottom of nothing. Nigga don't even want to fuck with you and you think you can go this route to gain some publicity. Niggas up there getting changed and shit. You the underdog. Niggas not even worrying about young boy. Now look at what the fuck he doing. Nigga. He be really doing his thing now. He really made young boy branch off and create his own group. Never broke again. Never and after creating again. his group, both rappers went back and forth, dropping diss tracks on each other, showing how they really felt. Because in one track, young boy said to G Money that he never really felt a part of TBG. And he brought him around them, dudes he doesn't like. And then the... Uh, now you see why. <coughs> Young boy probably responded the way he did. Now you probably see why the way he responded the way he did when he did that little... Uh, bring it up dead. I don't... It's probably deeper than what we think it is, but like... Man, I'm like this... A song named Poor One, Young Boy said, I used to call you my big brother. Then you did some foul and had with my sister. And in a 2017 interview with Say Cheese TV, G Money mentioned how Young Boy was mad about the situation that he had with Young Boy's sister since he was getting famous. Yo, under the y'all niggas doing y'all thing, doing this and that, buying chains for everybody. I ain't getting no chain. Then you go in, my sister? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You gots to be like, the nigga had a reason. This nigga getting dog stepped on. Niggas acting like they fuck with you in the UNA game. You ain't getting no love. Whole time. Whole time ain't getting no love. And then he, the main man, going to fuck you. Come on, yo. You cannot tell me the nigga ain't deserve it. Was letting fame go to his head. Not really. He mad, he mad about his sister, too, though. About his sister? Yeah, I a long time ago. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, he mad about that. And now he on doing what he's doing. I wasn't really tripping on it back then, though, you know what I'm saying? He be calling me Big Brother. You hear me? I guess he just let that famous shit. Now he feel like he just this new shit, whoever he's supposed to be, whoever he called himself. A month later, after this interview and after releasing his single industry, G Money was rising in fame. But he wasn't moving too smart because he was taunting NBA game on Instagram, saying how he was still recording at the same studio and driving the same cars, which wasn't smart. Because one night, G Money was in the studio finishing up another recording session. Until shortly after leaving, around one in the morning, he was shot by an unknown person who was waiting for him at the door. And when Young Boy found out about it, he went crazy, dropping diss on G Money left and right, saying how G was talking bad about him. Now he's in a dirt but young boy's beef with g money isn't the only time his beef with the baton rouge rapper got physical because young boy also had beef with scotty kane and took things too far because after young boy had his problems with tbg he started working with scotty kane dropping a song called homicide and both artists were blowing up but after a while scotty kane made a video explaining how he i ain't none of this one i ain't hear nothing about this big tired of young boy begging him to do songs and go half on music videos and shoes roll my cousin yeah, I came to the studio, he begged me to do the first verse. I did not want to do it. I thought about it. I'm like, well, f I'm going to go ahead and get it a chance. I did the first that for me to put some on your shoes. You're not with my lady, so f you. I'm doing what Go and have with you on shoes and videos. But. And this led them to start going back and forth, dropping disses on each other. And it got so bad to the point that Scotty Kane pulled a gun on Young Boy <laughs> while they were in the studio. Damn. And Young Boy was in the studio crying. So after this, Young Boy responded with oh, a diss no. of his own. We're in the studio. Dropping disses on each other. And it got so bad to the point that Scotty Kane pulled a gun on Young Boy while they were in the studio. And Young Boy. I think I did hear a little bit about this one. I think I did hear a little bit about this one. And he uh, <coughs> took and pulled the gun out on Young Boy. I did. In the studio crying. So after this, young boy responded with a diss of his own named Who You Supposed To Be, saying, Drew down with that burner and ain't use it. What's that supposed to be? Tears falling down my face, still letting him know it ain't no in me. And after this, Scotty started... Wait, 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 stop. Don't skip this video because I've got great news for you and your hair. If you are tired of blue... Nigga stop. been do the most... I had to put... Nigga been through the most, bro. Listen to this. Tits run down my face. He's letting them niggas know that when at this situation, his eyes, he was saying, nigga, tits run down my eyes because, nigga, I could die right now about my respect right now. Like, what you trying to do? You the one pulled the gun out on me. That's what he's saying. Doing interviews, saying he was not trying to beef or kill anybody since he is focusing on getting his family and kids straight, trying to end the beef. But young boy wasn't letting it slide because back in 2020, one night, Scotty Kane was in the studio recording until a group of members affiliated with NBA ambushed him and reportedly attacked Scotty so bad that he lost 20 teeth. But young boy doesn't only have problems with Louisiana rappers because Kodak and young boy don't have the best relationship either because the two appeared to be friends at one point, even collaborating on a few songs together. But their friendship quickly took a turn after Kodak released a single called Time Never Mattered. And many fans believe Kodak took shots at young boy when he rapped this part. <laughs> And while neither artist said much about this track, but back in 2018, while Kodak was locked up, Young Boy's artist Quando Rondo burned some Sniper Gang merch that Kodak sent them, saying he didn't want him to send that stuff. Uh, what the hell? Don't burn me. Man, we on some NBA shit, man. I'm telling you, I'm about to have you bad, Let's go and after this, Kodak Sniper Gang members responded by burning one of Young Boy's shirts. I usually don't burn shirts, you feel me? I really burn. But at that time, Kodak couldn't say too much since he was locked up. But once he got out of prison, he said Young Boy was weak for making Kondo burn his stuff instead of doing it himself. He also spoke about how they were supposed to be cool. And this happened out of nowhere. And their beef went silent for a while since Kodak and Young Boy kept getting locked up. But it was until 2020 that Kodak sparked the beef back up. Because after hearing that Young Boy cooperated with the police after Yaya Mayweather oh, stabbed yeah, yeah, another yeah, one yeah, of Young yeah, Boy's yeah, baby yeah, mamas. Yeah, yeah, he jumped into that little altercation. Said, nigga jumping on a phase and some shit 
Man, these some crazy niggas. I didn't take that lightly at all. Since he made an Instagram post saying how young boy shouldn't have told on her and that he'd probably tell on him too. But this pissed young boy off since he crashed out on live, asking why Kodak was speaking on him while being locked up. He even went you off talk, on Floyd. You talk, you talk, you talking about my wife? That's when he was talking about that shit. That was the Kodak shit mixed with the Floyd Mayweather shit. They're doing this rant. And watch me from a jail cell, man. Watch me from a jail cell and be on my face so bad. Be writing academics about me, man. Telling academics to post for me. I ain't never paid attention to, especially from no cell. You talking about my wife? Inside, inside my house that I paid for? Now, how dead and huh? And now. Things haven't slowed down at all since both artists. Are I wonder if she, you know what? That girl boy, she seemed more of a fan than anything. That was probably turning her the fuck on. But in my head, I'd have been thinking, nigga, is you okay? I hope them goddamn bills ain't getting to your head. Taking shots at each other. Since this year, Kodak went live saying how <laughs> Youngboy switched up on him and how he was tired of Youngboy fans keep trolling him, saying why be better. Yeah, I'm at. And young boy responded to Kodak in a post saying if he doesn't like his fans, he doesn't like Kodak. And after this, Kodak made a tweet telling young boy how he stands firsthand to that smoke and he'll never back down to no beef. Young boy also had problems with another Florida rapper, Julio Fulio, which started because of the misunderstanding they had with each other because a few years ago young boy was in jacksonville florida and fulio followed him and randomly pulled up at young boy's hotel room after young boy got done performing trying to ask him about a lyric he put in one of his songs saying what you want fulio since fulio was saying that fans said it was a diss towards him and he wanted to see what it meant this wasn't a good idea because after this it turned into a big argument in an interview fulio explained what happened we talked Y'all all had, oh yeah, like, nah, yeah, then some shit happened, somebody, the security up the gun, somebody else up the gun, everybody, Damn. Ran, everybody scouted. Both of the video, we, this, at this point, we back downstairs, right? We sitting in, like, the front of the hotel, he posted the video, he straight said, he laughed, he said, <laughs> pull back up, come back. All right, so we come back, we come back up, that. God damn, back. boy. The team is looking down the barrel of a 455 meeting. Can they turn it around? Got that bit. So as we come up still, we see the Benzo, we chase it down. What's up? You young boy brother, he trying to do some hope. But one of young boy's affiliates said Fulio was lying. And none of what he said happened in an interview of his own. Yeah, I, yeah, I seen the um Ain't that her? Ain't that her? Lord Jesus. Dude, you know, um Fulio made a post or whatever. Um, you know, do it you know, did that bother you in some type of way? I ain't lying, bro. I'm a you. And thankfully, things with these two never went too far. But Moneybag Yo and Young Boy also had a short relationship. Yeah, because that was after they, they released their motherfucking hard ass Al Mixley, whatever the fuck they want to call it. These niggas started beefing after this shit. Aberration tape. Bad Baby's Young Boy went to Instagram, dissing the tape and Money. That tape. <laughs> and I won't smoke. I ain't playing. On my son. Call y'all too. Yo, yo, what the fuck do young boy? Yo, what the fuck do young boy? And do it be young boy or do it be these niggas, yo? Yo, these this nigga can never have a cooperation with nobody. On my son. Call y'all too. And no one knows the reason behind this beef, but things were pretty serious because Young Boy's crew allegedly got into a fight with Moneybag's crew when they saw each other in the mall. And now, no one doesn't know what's going on since Moneybag Yo said in an interview that they're now cool and there's nothing going on between them. I don't know, what's your relationship with, like, with uh, NBA Young Boy? Uh, we, we cool. Okay, we got together because it, it was like a something that was going yeah, on. Yeah, I ain't yeah. really nosy like that, but I just know people want to know. No, everybody asked it. Not cool, man. Cool. Okay. Yeah, nah. But young boy hasn't only had problems with rappers because in 2018 he took things too far with his mom because on a live video with DJ Academics, young boy was telling him how he never had a mama or daddy in his life, and in one live video he kicked her out of his house that he bought for her. Man, here it is, Bubba God. Shaky ass relationship. Hold on, who is it? Who you get on this? Who you are you? 
And after this, she made a video saying she was not going to let her son control her life because he has money. If I don't do what Kentrell say, he won't do it. You know, he ain't going to do it. And I ain't going to be robot. And I'm going to go out and kiss my woman. I ain't kissing nobody. And things only get crazier because Youngboy also had problems with Jada Youngin, another Louisiana rapper from whom he used to be cool. Because Yo, Jay was singing with Youngboy's baby died. mama, Janiah. Man, when Jada Youngin passed away, that shit was crazy. That shit was crazy when Yo died. Youngboy didn't like that. So after that, Quando Rondo and Jada Youngin exchanged a few words on Twitter. You know what's crazy? I was just starting to get into his music when he passed. That's what was wild. Ando even took things too far, saying how he hoped Jada Youngin's child passes away. Jay then replied, trolling Quando since he made a tweet talking about him getting cheated on. And after that, Quando went live saying how Jada Youngin is broke and always gets robbed. Hey, listen, cuz you got your took two fucking times. Did you got to go to prison and get your ass took? You get some shit took from you. <laughs> Then after this, Youngboy went live on NBA Ben's Instagram, saying how they pulled up on Jada Youngin and made him start running. Behind, we real head hunters, man. Come on, man. A nigga open their mouth, came to where they was, man. And you caught the kid and left in the hole and left with the fat man in the blind. Like a oh, damn demon. Then Jay went Bro, live. that nigga be looking like a fucking demon. I can't even lie, yo. The youngin that made him start like a demon sometimes. I can't lie. We were a head hunters, man. Come on, man. A nigga open their mouth, came to where they was, man. And you caught the kid and left in the hole and left with the fat man in the blind. Oh, says. Then Jay went live saying the whole situation was a lie. And young boy was just mad and lying. Man, somebody need to come take both of you. Um, one of you screaming on the phone like a mad, like a like mad at the phone. And this isn't the only time Youngboy had problems with someone for talking to Janiya. Because after popular Twitch streamer Aiden Ross went live on Instagram with her in front of 40,000 views, and after clips of the Instagram live starting to go viral, Youngboy oh, quickly found out and was. That's who he was beefing about. That's who he was beefing about. Jay, Jay. Since people said Aiden was flirting with Janiya. So we uploaded a snippet a few days later dissing Aiden saying, Tell that YouTuber or streamer, whatever he is, stop playing with me. And now we got them gunners laying with him. This had the whole internet going crazy. And Aiden said how he was trolling. And he doesn't want beef with Youngboy. He even went on TikTok to make an apology video to Youngboy. Here's my sincerest apology. Go to my Instagram at Aiden Ross. I said I was sorry for playing with your top. And I am sorry I was 4KT because of my hair. Youngboy beefs with old rappers too Because two years ago Youngboy got into it with Jay Prince After his house was broken into Because after the video surfaced on the internet Of people at Youngboy's house rambling in his stuff Jay really Prince were. came out of With your top And I have sales for KT Because of my hair Youngboy beefs with old rappers too Because two years ago Youngboy got into it with Jay Prince After his house was broken into Because after the video surfaced on the internet Of people at Youngboy's house rambling in his stuff Jay Prince came out of nowhere And made a video talking about how he knows The people who broke into Youngboy's crib And they want to make things right Since they gave Jay Prince the items They stole from Youngboy The homie Youngboy place got broke into He went in his place Disrespected different things And uh, you know I got a call about it and the little homies that went into this place want to make that right. And after that, Youngboy was pissed since Jay Prince was doing this to get clout off Youngboy, which makes sense. If you got something for me, man, they got plenty of around me you could call. It's plenty, it's plenty ways you can get in touch with me. Man, don't get on no internet and do nothing publicly. Don't do nothing dealing with, with no publicity, none of that and more recently, Youngboy dissed Chicago rapper King Von Because in late 2020, King Von was spotted on a surveillance camera fighting Quando Rondo Until Quando's affiliate, Lil Tim, hopped out of the car Opening fire on King Von and killing him And two years later, Youngboy spoke on the situation a few months ago With his diss track, Bring the Hook Saying, Old Black Pack get rolled up, Atlanta boy get fold up Which is a diss directly dissing King Von Youngboy spoke on this since King Von was seen with Janiya a few months before Von passed away. Lil Durk also responded to Youngboy in his song Aha, saying, I told Von to leave her alone. She posts on OnlyFans. Youngboy then took things up a <laughs> notch by fuck? dissing the whole industry and anyone associated with Lil Durk in his I Hate Youngboy track. He went on to diss Von, Oblock, Lil Durk's girlfriend, Dirk, Boosie, Lil Baby, Gucci Mane, and even Apple Music since they didn't promote his music. 